So I'm going to do a quick little carburetor swap on a Ford 600 tractor. Now my buddy's got a Ford 9N. His has got a different carburetor than this one. Uh, and this carburetor, which is a new aftermarket carburetor from eBay, is different than the one that's on here. For one thing, the gas line on this one goes into this glass bowl. And in that glass bowl looks to fit into a fitting here. I'm not exactly sure. This one doesn't have a place for that to come into here, but it has a place right here that looks like you could run a gas line into, although it doesn't say for sure anywhere. There's no paperwork that came with this or anything, but uh, I don't know where else a gas line could go. Uh, I've got a few little extra pieces here. I've got a filter, which may replace this bowl filter, and I've got a an elbow here which may replace this elbow here so that it could be that this one is made to work with this elbow and with this external filter which is going to require a couple of uh, clamps which I don't see included here uh, yeah and it looks like all it takes to swap this is a half inch wrench and a and a that's 3 8 or 7 16 that's a 7 16 and a screwdriver and then whatever it takes to get there's a line over here one is a throttle one is the choke so they, they both go in on the opposite side of the carburetor which is back here so so I'll start by taking this gas line off uh, I think I've already cut my gas off from the tank uh, if I didn't I'll know pretty quickly because it'll start leaking a little wetness already the reason I'm replacing this is because yeah, I may not have cut that off it seems like it's leaking pretty good the reason I'm replacing this is because it leaks the carburetor itself leaks I believe and uh, every so often it doesn't run right but if this if you leave this sitting around with a gas line connected it will leak so let me get my screwdriver over there and make sure I cut that gas off. Yep, it is cut it off. Maybe there's just a little bit in the line that's going to come out. That's kind of a gravity feed, so maybe I can just hang that line up here. Keep a little gas in it. Alright, next thing is I'll, uh, I'll loosen this up. Yeah, that's just a hose clamp. That ain't much of a connection right there. Looks to me like that might could do with a couple of clamps, but we'll see. And then use my half inch wrench to get these loose up here. Looks like you have to loosen one, then loosen the other, and then go back to the first one because it the bolt starts hitting a side of the manifold up here pretty quick. And then you got these two little lines already popped off the choke and I think this other one will pop right off too. So now this should, oh man, that whole thing came out there. I think that's the air intake. It is. Okay. So this right here comes off and I kind of like that glass bowl I would, I would like to keep it let's see if we can unscrew it and see if we can use it Oh, that goes on like that. I didn't expect that. Huh. There must be a bolt with a hole in it. Let's take it right off and then we'll be able to see. Yep. See, that's a bolt with a hole in it, like there. 
I'm betting that won't go on this new carburetor. It'd just be cool if it would, just because it's a cool thing. That would go there. I see this is going to hit that carburetor before it goes on like that. So let's just set this aside for now. I'm going to open up a little bag of goodies on this other carburetor. And I need to grab me a rag. Hang on a second. This carburetor has a line like this. And that fits right there. Of course, it's a good idea to take that piece of plastic out. And then this. It should fit this. Let's take a look at that. Yep, it's going to fit that. So what I'm going to need to do on this one is... Well, I could go ahead and put that up. This comes with a couple of threaded pieces here. This fits down in the carburetor, this little stud. other one fits on the other side one side of this is coarse thread one side is fine thread this old carburetor didn't have a gasket but this new one's got three three gaskets I don't know if I need three I think I might only need one let's take a look A bad idea to put three of them on there because it almost doesn't reach the threads otherwise there's almost not enough threads and we have two of these these are uh, nylon self-locking in their edges is tapered so they don't hit the manifold when you put them on there like the others did I had a Crosley and it had a a carburetor set up that would you know it, it was very difficult to get the bolts on and off of it kind of well it wasn't it wasn't kind of like this but it was kind of like this but not similar but not the same I guess you could say yeah that looks like it doesn't want to fit that but I'm gonna make sure that it does fit it It does fit, but not easily. Strange little threads on it. Hmm. Well, let's take one of them off. Let's double check and make sure it isn't threaded backwards. kind of fits that way better that's interesting so does the fine thread fit down in there hmm. let's try that I would say nope it does not so go back to where we was doesn't act like that's the right size nut for that. This one is. This is the one that came off the tractor and that one fits good. So what I'll probably do, I guess, is it may be that those nylon threads would work. They're just really hard to start. We can get one started if not I'll put the tractor nuts back on it 
This also did not come with washers. I might see if I can grab a couple little washers to go in that. And grab that. My friend Eric Holston down in Florida blessed me with some little washers. And so I'm going to use one if it'll fit there. Oh, guess what? It won't. Well, maybe that's why they didn't give me any because would have to grind one edge off of that to get them to fit in there so I guess because the clearance is so limited and there's no way to get a washer in there unless you grind the edge off of it that's okay though we can work with that Let's see if we can get this to start I might have to lower the carburetor to get it started that might be part of the problem too is that there's so limited space there that you can't get it going. Oh, you know what I'm forgetting? Well, I can do that later. Start sitting the forgetting the, the choke and the throttle, but I think I can do that once I get this started. Boy, that's acting just like a cross thread there. I don't think they gave me the right size nuts for that. I'm not going to use these ones and take these ones off. Instead, I'll go with the original lock washers that were on this and the original nut that came off the tractor. You kind of have to wangle these things a little bit, but they do go on there. Okay, so before I forget it, I'm going to go ahead and hook up the choke for the back of the back side here. It's just got a little slip-on cup, cup and ball thing. Let's put that right back on. It's one of those times when it'd be good if my eyeballs work better than they do. And this other one's the same way, it's got a little slider on it. Yeah, just slide that out over this right there. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and tighten these ones up here. I'm going to do one side and then the other side. Kind of like the way I took them off. Let's also go ahead and put this uh, back on. This is the air intake. It comes from the filter up here. It's got an oil oil based filter because there's oil in it. That would explain why it didn't have much of a clamp on it. Okay, and then we got this little fitting. And this will work like that. This will go like this. That actually fits that pretty good, I think. Now, the only, th the only thing we have here is a filter. We should go in the line, but I'm going to need 
a little piece of line and a little hose to fit this. Uh, so I could I could go ahead and start the tractor with that off it. But let's go see if I can find a little piece of hose first and a fitting for that. I'll cut y'all off for a second. I found a hose that fits this, but I don't know if it's going to fit that or not. Let's see if we can get this one off. It's a long piece right there, I believe. Might have a hard time getting that off of there. This would go on to that, and then this would go on to that. And then that would go on to that. I need to tighten this thing up some more too. clamp for one side I don't have a clamp here but we may not need one as tight as that line is do just cut a piece of this Could just cut that line and put that filter in it. Might wind up having to get me a couple of uh, little short clamps, but we'll see what happens here. You know pretty quick.
Alright, I can turn the gas on and see if she's going to leak. And then we'll uh, sort of take it from there, maybe. There. So far, so good. Now, let's see if she'll start. Wet my hands off a bit. I'm not sure what she's running on because I didn't see any gas in here yet. She's just running off the fuel that's already in the manifold or is that maybe that has gas in it. Well, she's not dripping gas. Maybe it's got a cam in it. 
Just joking. Thank you. 